Every hand lifted. Toda mano levantada. Every hand lifted. Toda mano levantada. Come on, can you just give him a praise? Vamos a darle una alabanza. I don't think we're going to stop worshiping. Yo no creo que vamos a parar de adorar. In a moment we're going to minister some conditions. En un momento vamos a ministrar algunas condiciones. But we're not going to go back to worship. Pero vamos a regresar a la adoración. We're going to remain in worship. Vamos a mantenernos en la adoración. I love the scripture that Ronald was sharing with us. Behold his beauty. We become what we beheld. Tonight, I want you to just take one more moment and just behold who he is. Behold all of him. Right now in the room. Aquí en el cuarto. Just fix your eyes for just one moment on Jesus. Ponga su ojo en Jesús. And just beheld him. Y mírelo. All of him. Todo. All who he is. Todo lo que él es. All who he's been to you. Todo lo que él ha sido para ti. All that he's done for you. Todo lo que él ha hecho por ti. For just one moment. Por un momento. Behold his beauty. Mire su belleza. We become who we behold. Nos convertimos en lo que miramos. Yeah. Uh, tonight I want to share just a quick word with you. Esta noche quiero compartir con ustedes una palabra corta. You can stay right there where you're at. Se puede quedar donde está. You can keep your eyes closed. Pueden mantener los ojos cerrados. Or you can look up in the screen and read the read the word with us. O puede ver las pantallas y leer la palabra con nosotros. You can come out of your chair, you can sit on the floor. Puedes salir de su silla, sentarse en el piso. Whatever you want to do, you're free to do it. Lo que quiera hacer, tiene la libertad para hacerlo. If you want to dance before the Lord, you can dance before him. Si quiere danzar al frente del Señor, puede hacerlo. I want you to I want to take you to the scriptures. Quiero llevarlo a la escritura. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37. Mateo 22:37. I'm going to read to you from the Passion Translation. It says, Jesus answered him, uh, Love the Lord your God with every passion of your heart, with all the energy of your being, and with every thought that is within you. This is the great and supreme commandment Say with me, commandment. Let's read that verse one more time. Verse 37. Jesus tells him. And he tells you tonight. Love the Lord your God. With every passion of your heart. With all the energy of your being. And with every thought that is within you for this is the great and supreme commandment verse 39 and the second is like it in importance you must love your friend love your neighbor in the same way you love yourself this is what Jesus says to you today there's no greater command than this this is the first someone say with me first this is the first and the greatest command of all that you would love the Lord your God say with me love the Lord my God with all of your heart and soul with all of your mind there is no greater command than this that you would love God first that you would first love God 
Tonight, Esta noche, I want to tell someone. Le quiero decir a alguien, some of us, algunos de nosotros, at times we live, we live burden. En diferentes tiempos tenemos cargas. Sometimes, a veces, in life, en la vida, or in our walk with God, en nuestra caminata con Dios, in ministry and doing good, en el ministerio y hacer el bien. Sometimes, a veces, we're heavily burdened. Tenemos grandes cargas. Sometimes, a veces, we even feel burned out. Nos sentimos quemados. And I'll tell you why some of us Algunos de nosotros, we're loving things estamos amando cosas before we're first loving him antes de amar a Dios. we're loving people estamos amando a la gente we're loving individuals individuales before first loving God antes de primero amar a Dios. Jesus said to him Jesús le dijo a él, and he tells you and I tonight y te dice a ti y a mí esta noche, this is the greatest este es el más grande. this is the great and supreme commandment el mandamiento y más grande, that you will love him first que lo ames a él primero. are you loving God first ¿Estás amando a Dios primero? do you love him first ¿Amas a Dios primero? do you love God before you love yourself ¿Amas a Dios antes que a ti mismo? do you love God before you love life ¿Amas a Dios más que a la vida? sometimes a veces, the reason why we go through what we go through la razón por la cual batallamos algunas cosas, is because we're loving others es porque estamos amando a otros. or we're loving loving things o amando cosas before we're first loving him antes de primero amarlo a él this is the greatest command este es el mandamiento más grande that you will love God que ames a Dios first primero and then he says this y después dice esto and then love your neighbor y ama a tu prójimo as you love yourself como a ti mismo You want to know why sometimes we feel burdened? ¿Sabe por qué muchas veces sentimos cargas? Heavily burdened. Cargas pesadas. You know why sometimes we're stressed? O a veces estamos estresados. Why sometimes we're just going through stuff? O batallamos algunas cosas. Because we're loving things. Porque estamos amando cosas. We're loving people. Amando a personas. We're loving places. O lugares. Or we're loving ourselves. O nos estamos amando a nosotros mismos. First. Primero. Or before loving him. O antes de amar a Dios. If you love anything si usted ama cualquier cosa, or you love anyone o a cualquier persona, before first loving God antes de primero amar a Dios, you will be burned out. Usted se va a quemar. You will be stressed. Se va a estresar. You will feel uneasy. Va a sentir una carga pesada. You're going to feel like something's wrong. Va a sentir que algo está mal. You're going to ask yourself these questions. Se va a hacer estas preguntas. Why, am I, why do I feel out of it? ¿Por qué me siento de esta forma? Why do I feel alone? ¿Por qué me siento solo? Why do I feel this way? ¿Por qué me siento de esta manera? Life doesn't seem right. La vida no se ve bien. Living life doesn't seem right. Vivir la vida no se ve bien. When you and I are not loving him first. Cuando tú y yo no estamos amándolo al primero. Love God first. Ame a Dios primero. Love God first. Ame a Dios primero. If we love ourselves. Si nos amamos a nosotros. If we love anything or anyone. Si amamos a cualquier cosa o a cualquier persona. Before loving him. Antes de lo amarlo a él. Life is not going to seem right. La vida no se va a ver bien. Sometimes a veces, that's the answer to the depression. Esa es la respuesta a la depresión. That's the answer to the anxiety. Esa es la respuesta a la ansiedad. We're loving things before loving God. Estamos amando cosas antes de amar a Dios. And I found that I found this to be true. Y conseguí que esto era cierto. The Bible says. La palabra de Dios dice. It gives us an order. Nos da en orden. It says first love God. Dice primero ama a Dios. Then. Y después. It says love your neighbor as you love yourself. Ama tu prójimo como a ti mismo. The second reason why sometimes we're heavily burdened. La segunda razón porque tenemos muchas cargas de vez en cuando. Is because we're loving people. Es porque estamos amando a las personas. You're loving people. Estás amando a las personas. Before you love yourself. Antes de amarte a ti mismo. The Bible says La palabra de Dios dice, First love God primero ama a Dios. Say that with me First love God Diga conmigo, a primero ama a Dios. Then it says Love your neighbor as you love y después dice, ama a tu vecino, ¿cómo? Why are you loving neighbors Before loving you Porque estás amando a tu prójimo antes de ti mismo. Why are you loving people porque estás amando a personas Why are you loving things o cosas before loving yourself? antes de amarte a ti mismo. God says, Dios dice, Love me first. Ámame primero. Then he says, y después dice, Love yourself second. 
Amate a ti segundo. And then after you've loved me. Y después que me amaste a mí. And you've taken that love and you've loved yourself. Y llevaste ese amor y te amaste a ti mismo. Now give that love away. Ahora da ese amor. Now give that love away. Ahora puedes dar ese amor. Now love your family. Ahora ama tu familia. Now love your parents. Ama tus padres. Pastor, why do I feel uneasy? Padre, pastor, ¿por qué me siento así? Pastor, why am I stressed out? ¿Por qué me siento estresado? Pastor, why am I feeling all this anxiety, Por, tons of anxiety? ¿Por qué siento tan toneladas de ansiedad? Tonight I have a question. Esta noche tengo una pregunta. Are you loving God first? ¿Estás amando a Dios primero? Check your life. Chequea tu vida. Check your habits. Chequea tus hábitos. Check your routine. Chequea tu rutina. Check your day to day. Chequea tu día a día. Are you loving God first? ¿Estás amando a Dios primero? And number two. Y número dos. Are you loving yourself second? ¿Estás amando a ti segundo? How many times have, have we said veces hemos dicho, I do so much for others hago tanto por otros, but I'm not taking care of myself? Pero no me estoy cuidando a mí mismo. We must first love God. Tenemos que primero amar a Dios. Doesn't it seem selfishly if you love yourself before you love others? ¿No se ve egoísta que primero ames a sí mismo y después amar a otras personas? Yet God says differently. Pero Dios dice diferente. He says, "Love me first." Amame primero a mí. Then love yourself. Y amate a ti mismo. Are you loving God? Estás amando a Dios. Are you loving yourself? Estás amándote a ti. Jesus told him. Jesús le dijo. And he tells you tonight. Y él te dice a ti esta noche. Love me first. Amame primero. Then love yourself second. Y amate segundo a ti. Love yourself second. Amate segundo a ti. Be good to yourself. Sé bueno contigo. Speak life over yourself. Habla vida sobre ti. Take a hold of this love that you're loving me with. Recibe ese amor con el que tú me estás amando. Love yourself. Amate a ti mismo. Pursue yourself. Síguete a ti mismo. Bless yourself. Bendícete. Pray for yourself. Ora por ti. Come on, somebody say, I gotta love myself. Alguien diga, tengo que amarme. And then you, once you love God and once you love yourself, then you're blessed to go and do things for others, to go and give that love away. What I want to highlight to you, let's go to verse 38, and then we're just going to quickly minister some miracles. This, this, this scripture has been like it's just been messing me up in all the, in all the good ways I was reading this verse and I kept meditating on it this is the great and supreme commandment go to verse 37 Love the Lord your God. Ama al Señor tu Dios. I want to ask you a question. Le quiero hacer una pregunta. How many of you, how many of you feel the presence of God? ¿Cuántos sienten la presencia de Dios? Man, this thing, this, this, this verse has wrecked me. Este versículo me ha tocado. Literally. De verdad. It's been one of the verses that I've been meditating on lately. And this is what I want to highlight to you today. Jesus says, this is the greatest command. What's the command? Love the Lord your God. I want to ask you a quick question. How many of you have loved people? Show of hands. How many of you have done things for people? How many of you have been faithful to people? How many of you have ever gotten somebody's back? Okay. Have you ever loved someone that betrayed you? Have you ever loved someone so much? that's no longer present in your life think about this for a moment how many of us have loved people how many of us have been there for people how many times have you done 
things for people things that you normally wouldn't do for other people how many times have you fought for someone I want you to listen to the question how many times have you done something for someone that you would have never done for someone else as a matter of fact that you've never even done for some of the closest people to you some of your most loved loved ones have you ever done something for someone that you haven't even done for your own family have you ever been good to someone that's no longer in your life right now have you ever given your heart away to someone that's no longer in the picture or in your life have you ever given away yourself you've given your life your heart away to someone that just they, they, they didn't feel the same for you they were in the same place for you as you were to, for them how many of you in the room or watching me right now online can relate to what I'm saying listen I got a question for you tonight when has God ever done you wrong when has God ever backstabbed you when has God ever been unfaithful or disloyal to you through thick and thin he's been there for you I don't know about you I, I haven't always been there for him but he's always been there for me the question that I'm asking if you haven't heard it yet have you loved someone as like you've never loved God you know what messes me up about this scripture God has always been there he's never fallen short he's never backstabbed us he's never walked out on you he's never abandoned you no matter how many times we missed the mark no matter how many times we turned our backs on him he's never turned his back on us I'm talking about if the only thing he's ever done for us is to take nails to his hands and his feet a crown of thorns to his head and get nailed to a cross it's more than enough and what messes me up about this scripture man I loved people in ways that I've never even loved him I've given I've given things to people I want you to listen to me God's trying to speak to you tonight I've given things to people in my lifetime that I had never given him I've loved individuals just like you in ways that I had not loved him yet and they're not in my life but he is you know what messes me up about this scripture that he has to command me to love him he has to command me to love him he's been so good he's always been faithful yet he has to command me He has to command you to love him. Think about this for a moment. How good has God been to you? Has he not been good? Has he not been faithful? Has he not been better to you than anyone you've ever met? Why does he have to command us to love him? Listen, glory to God for commandments. But I told God this weeks ago. I don't want to love you out of command. I want to love you out of my will. You know what I love about this scripture? That this is a sign 
Esto es una señal of how he loves you. De cómo él te ama a ti. The fact that he's commanding you El hecho de que te está a ti to love him a que lo ames with every passion of your heart, con toda de tu corazón, with all the energy of your being, con toda la de tu cuerpo, and with every thought that's within you, y todo de ti, he's just asking you to do. Él te está que haga, Can you just please stand to your feet for just a moment? Because we're just going to go back into work. We're going to just continue to worship the Lord. Vamos a al Señor. The fact that he's commanding you. El hecho de que te está to love him with every passion in your heart all the energy of your being and every thought that's within you he's just asking you to do for him what he's already doing for you you see the reason why we get to love God with every passion in our heart is because he loves you with every passion in his heart if you've ever loved God with all the energy in your being we love him because he first loved us the reason why you and I get to love him so passionately is because he's passionately in love with you he loves you with every passion in his heart he loves you with all the energy in his being and he loves you with every thought that's within him somebody lift up your hands tonight and just declare with me I give myself a way to love come on I feel my heart beating come on somebody tonight declare with me I give myself a way to love Come on, somebody tell Jesus You don't gotta command me to love you I'm gonna love you passionately I'm gonna love you with all my energy With every thought Out of will, not out of command My God, somebody declare I love you, Jesus I hope that this message has blessed your life. If it did, make sure to give us a like and also comment below. We want to hear your feedback. And if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button and even share this message with someone that you want to see blessed. If you're ever in the Miami area, please check us out. We want to invite you. Don't ever forget that you got family here. King Jesus Remnant Youth Fam, 730 Passion Nights. Check us out. God bless.